Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a monthly collective tarot reading session for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Aries. This reading for today Aries, this is your uh, monthly reading. Let us see what's coming towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Aries, okay? This is a monthly collective reading. And of course, before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, I invite you to also check out the description box below. In the description box below, you'll see the details of the website, the other two channels, and the products and the services that we offer outside of the YouTube platform. Let us see what's coming towards you. <clears throat> what is the message for Aries, please? What can I get for Aries in love, relationship, dating, getting to know? What can I get for you guys? Okay, let's start your reading, Aries. Um... Let's get your overall energy for today. What is your overall energy for today? Um, let's see. You have the page of pentacles. Oh, you have the page of wands. And the knight of wands. And for some of you guys this month, um, you could be invited to travel or to relocate or to meet someone halfway. Okay, this is a very uh, important meeting or turn of event between you and this person or situation. Page of Pentacles, um, you will get the message very soon. I feel like it's going to happen, you know, this week, you know, in the next seven, eight days, the message will come along. You know, Page of Pentacles, I feel like I feel very enthusiastic about the Page of Pentacles message and then you're going to um the message the communication could be via email it could be via text it could be phone call but this page of pentacles it will escalate to further negotiation planning organizing from page it will become the page of wands so it, it, it's going to be exciting and then the meeting the date the relocation the actual event will happen it's halfway i'm really getting like you need to do something for the other person to do half of it. Like 50-50, you do this, they do that, and all of this thing would happen, okay? It's a very, it's a highlight of your month. And it's very exciting. It's transformative. And I feel like you miss each other. So there's a willingness to go halfway. It's very reciprocal energy, okay? So that is that. Let's start your reading, Aries. Let's pick up more intuitive message for you. Um... So in your recent past, you have the King of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Hangman. Um, there's a King of Cups. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Eight of Cups. I feel like this King of Cups, this person, this is not, this is definitely not you, okay? Um, this King of Cups, I feel like um, they're very emotionally invested towards you. You guys are emotionally invested, but somehow Eight of Cups... Something happened, a challenge happened that this person is now acting like um, you feel lost. You know, you feel lost. Like, where is the connection? Where is this person? Where are we heading? Okay. You're questioning, are we still strong as a couple, as a friend, as a lover, as an acquaintance, as partners? You know, because they're acting aloof, detached. There's something with this person that it makes you feel um, unknown. It's hard to read their mind and their next action, okay? They have a Knight of Cups and they have the Six of Swords. Mm. 
I feel like you and this person will talk again. Knight of Cups. I feel like from King of Cups, they will become a Knight of Cups. I feel like they're offer, they have an offer towards you. And I feel like this person would like you to hear them out. Um, the Knight of Cups, this is loyal. This is sincerity. It's very moving. You know, a Knight of Cups is a moving offer towards you. Um, however, there's a limit, you know, because they stop. They, they, they're offering something towards you, Aries, this month. But it has a limit. It has a boundary. They don't want to go all out, okay? They don't want to go all out about their offer. And um, from the Knight of Cups, it's, it's, it became a Six of Swords. So it's possible that you won't accept the offer because there's a Six of Swords in here. The Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I think you want more, you know. Yeah, the Six of Cups. So for some of you guys, this person who's acting aloof, who's acting cold, who's acting weird and awkward towards your situationship, um, they'll come around, Knight of Cups, they're going to offer you something. And then it's not the, the full package that you want, but they'll offer you something. And Six of Swords, I feel like you're going to say either no or negotiate with this person. I want more. And I think this person won't be able to respond right away. Maybe they need to process what you're requesting as part of the offer. Um, you're going to move on. You're going to... some One of you will disconnect or probably will negotiate because Six of Swords, you know. This is moving on, moving like... Taking, away, taking your mind away from a stressful situation, like negotiation. I'm really getting like negotiation. And then good news, Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. I feel like this person will give whatever you want. Um, I feel like Aries, if you do not chase, chase, you know, Six of Swords, if you really, um, if you really want them to give your compromise or that, thing that you want for them to do you need to stand by with your decision because that is where you're going to challenge this person and they will realize that okay you you make sense because there's an ace of swords and six of cups so they will be able to fulfill whatever you want you you gotta be you gotta not push to like you gotta be diplomatic and really be very pissed you stand on your ground like if you said this then if you say it's non-negotiable it's non-negotiable because you will be able to convince them if you don't chase them with the situation, okay? Then the next reading is you've got the Empress card, the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands. There's someone overseas or close to you that is very attracted to you, Empress card. Um, I feel like this person... I feel like this person, Aries, Eight of Wands, King of Wands, maybe you work close to the airport or airplane, but there is someone who is attracted to you. Or they would be flying and you would come across them, but you've got new love. I feel like unexpectedly you would catch someone's eye looking at you. And Eight of Wands, King of Wands, will so give them a very... So I'm seeing you guys... Um, in a shop, in a retail shop, walking, I don't know, maybe in an event, but you were in a familiar face. Sorry, you are in a familiar place. Okay, you are in a fam you are in a familiar place, and you would catch someone's eyes looking at you, and then you'll give them a smile, and then you will they will approach you, and King of Wands will exchange exchange number, and you're going to date. So if you are out and about, maybe an event, familiar place, really give your Give your smile because this will warm up the situation and the person will approach you. Okay? Yeah. It's new love. And then, so the next reading, I feel like this is a situation at home or at work. So, magician card, the seven of pentacles. So, this is a situation at home and at work. Okay? The magician card. Yeah, six of coins. Um, so there's someone at home or at work or in a in a place confined place work or home um you're starting to things are starting to get better between you and this uh person 
okay? The relationship between you and this person, it's starting to get better. It's starting to balance. Then, Seven of Pentacles, you and this person will try to catch up or will try to reacquaint or invest. You know, this is your person, this is you. There's still fire between the two of you. It means that maybe this is an adjustment period. Maybe you and this person didn't get along and then things are starting to be okay. Because from six to seven, there's still a little bit of flair uh, between the two of you. Because you've been icy, okay? You and this person has been icy or you're not looking into like, you're not seeing eye to eye and then you guys are starting to warm up. But mind you, um, it's not going to be an instant click because there's still some fire in here. And then for some of you guys, I'm really getting like annoyance because Eight of Pentacles, you're busy, they're busy. And then you guys are trying to rebuild something, Ace of Wands. It would, you know, it might pick a fight again for some of you. Let's see. Because this looks like annoyed, you know, Eight of Pentacles. Because the Eight of Pentacles, you know, Ace of Wands. The Chariot card, the Strength card, and the High Priestess. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're kind of advised to, you might, um, there's a trigger. You guys are not completely, like this is a situation, maybe you're reconciling, you're you're reconciling, you're reconnecting. It could be a platonic relationship. It could be a relationship. But you guys are just starting to get along again. And then for some reason, there's still some wounds to be healed. And you trigger them or they trigger you that this person or yourself could run away. So you need to be very patient and less... Like, someone needs to shut their mouth. Look at that. Like, because it might... You may, I mean, this person will come back if you kind of keep yourself quiet. Like, situ si it's kind of telling me that if you fight again with this person, it's better to avoid saying things or words that res that is really helpful because this person will only might not come back. So be very careful on the words you said with each other because it, it might not be irreconcilable. So be careful with that. You know, like, if you look at this person, you shut, like, shut the mouth. You know, and high priestess, stay quiet, stay, stay quiet, stay cool, stay calm, stay collected, because that's where your luck, your, your your luck will come, is to chill. Although it's really, really like, you know, flare. You know, look at that, the fire. You know, so um, this is your reading, Aries. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.